Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Keystone Passport 175BH. This particular model we're going to go over is in the granite interior. As you'll see, it's a nice small little bunk unit. Uh, it's great, you know, just for being able to take it to a lot of different campsites. If you go to a lot of state parks and places where you can't have big campers, this one is easily maneuverable and it has everything you need for a nice little vacation. Starting right over here. So you'll see, you, you know, in all honesty, you don't have a lot of countertop space. But what they did give you is two sink top covers here. That way you can at least, uh, you know, use this space right here as prep space. High rise faucet there too, so it's nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. And when I take the covers off, you will see the large double bowl sink, larger bowl, uh, bowl on the left, smaller one on the right. Also, the, uh, the sink covers here are cutting board quality, so you can flip them over, use them as cutting boards. When you're done, flip them right back. The reason I say to flip them over is that way you have one side that continues to look nice. Over uh, next to that is your three burner cooktop. The front one there is high output. The thing I like about, again, this setup, they could have given you more countertop space by giving you a two burner cooktop and just a single bowl sink, but for myself personally, I would rather have the larger appliances. And then if you take a look right underneath, you will see that we don't have an oven in here, which again, I prefer the storage. You know, we can have an oven if you need an oven, but for me, I much rather like uh, the double storage there. You'll see two large storage areas, plenty of space for your pots, your pans, but underneath the sink here, you see you have some nice additional storage and two full extension ball bearing drawers. That way you not only have a spot to put your silverware, but also some of your larger utensils like your knives, you know, your serving spoons, spatulas, things like that. Right back here, you have a window which lets in a lot of natural light during the day, also gives you a nice view out to the campsite. Right above that, an LED light here, so that way, uh, you know, you have some light at night. This also, uh, you know, because it is LED, doesn't use near the power and also doesn't put out near the heat as your standard incandescent bulb. Then right next to that, you'll also notice you have an electrical outlet. So if you have a coffee maker, blender, toaster, whatever it may be you need to plug in, that is where you would do it at. If you take a look at the side up here, uh, you will see the multimedia center. Uh, this is a pretty nice little multimedia center here. It does control the speakers both in here as well as the speakers outside. Uh, this one also is Bluetooth capable. You can see your speaker selector right there. So again, inside, outside, or you can have them both running at the same time. Back over to the front is the TV. This unit does come with a TV, so you don't have to worry about going out and buying one. And the nice thing about the TV is it's on a swivel arm mount as well. So if you want to lay in bed and watch a show, you can turn it toward you. You can leave it just like it is for the dinette, or you can even turn it to the back so the kids can watch uh, TV before they go to bed for the night. Right up top here is your microwave, and then directly underneath that is a hood with both a light and a fan. Rounding out the kitchen here is your Dometic fridge freezer. You'll see that they have the wood looking panels on here, which I personally like because they're easier to keep clean than your stainless or black. And if you take a look inside here, you see you have ample storage, a little extra space right there if you have some taller items, a couple of drawers down below as well. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. If we take a look at the ceiling, a couple quick features up here. One, you do have the vent so you can quickly, uh, you know, help uh, the fumes and stuff get out of here. If you're cooking bacon, something like that, you want to get the smell out, you can open that guy up as well as, of course, use your hood. And then right over here, you do have an AC in this unit. It is roof mounted. And yeah, as you will notice, the controls are right on the AC itself. And it's quite easy to use. If we take a look in the back, this is the bathroom here. Uh, right back in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. You'll see you have plenty of leg room as well as shoulder room all the way around there. Um, over to the side here is the tub shower. I like having a tub shower in a bunkhouse because that way if the kids are smaller and you want to give them a bath, you're able to do that here. You also have a hand wand for easy showering, some shelves there. And up top, you have a nice big skylight, which not only gives you additional headroom, but also lets a lot of natural light in during the day. Over to the side here is your vent fan, so that way you can quickly help moisture escape, uh, make sure that you know your bathroom stays nice and dry. And then right underneath that is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind it. 
Over to the side here, right outside the bathroom are your double bunks. 300 pound weight capacity on here, so they can hold plenty of weight. Teddy Bear Bunk Series bunks, they're nice and soft. You'll see the top here does have a window that is an emergency exit. And then right down below, you have a door. Uh, you may have seen this in some bunk models before. I'll show you when we go outside. This allows to, uh, to really carry a lot of stuff here. It's a great storage option. You can load up from the outside. Again, we'll uh, take a look at that in just a moment. Right over here is the dinette. As I mentioned, this is the graphite interior. One of the things I really like about the dinette here is that the bottoms are this nice leatherette material. The reason I like that is because, again, you're going to have kids in here. Chances are they're messy eaters. They'll be spilling food and stuff. Maybe they just came in from the beach. They have wet swim trunks. You don't have to worry about them messing up any cloth here, and it gets nice and easy cleanup. Also, if you do have additional guests that need to stay the night, the table does drop down into a bed. It's pretty simple to do. Basically, all I have to do is fold the leg up right here. You will actually remove it from the back. It basically clips into the wall, so that's pretty easy to, to maneuver. And then the table itself will sit right here along these rails on both sides. You'll then take the back cushions, put them on top of the table, and that will give you that additional sleeping space. Right over here is a nice big window, again, to let in a lot of natural light. Right underneath, you'll see you have an LED light. And then if you take a look, not on one, but on both sides, you have electrical outlet. So that's pretty nice, you know, if you need to sit here and charge cell phones, uh, you know, or maybe you want to plug in a, I don't know, whatever it may be, you have the ability to do that there, tablet, whatever. But I, again, I like the fact there's a lot of electrical outlets here in this main living area. Up top, you'll see you have the tinted glass, which again, I think is a good choice, helps break up the wood look. You'll see that that's good storage all the way throughout there too. You might be able to fit a smaller board game in there. Um, you know, again, whatever else you need to stick up there. If you want to put your paper plates or cups or whatever, so it's easy access to the table. It's a good spot for them there as well. Then as we take a look up front, you see your queen size bed. Uh, this is actually a camper queen, so it is 60 inches wide by 74 inches long. It'll be about six inches short of your standard residential queen. Right up at the head of the bed there, you see you have a window. That, again, that is also an emergency exit. LED light right underneath, so if you want to read a book at night, you have a little extra light there. Right up top, you have a shelf going all the way across. And then over to this side, you also have a shelf up top here as well as mirrored wardrobe. Uh, so you do have a spot to hang some clothes, mirror on the other side of the door. That way, if you, know, you want to see yourself in the morning, see what you look like, you can certainly do that. And lastly, right down below on the bed there, you will see that you have an additional electrical outlet. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at the outside of the 2018 Passport 175BH. Right up front here, your two 20 pound propane tanks, nice and easy to get down into the tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws here, lift up the door, and that will get you down in there. Right behind that, you see you have rails there for your battery. And coming up the front is black diamond plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You also see over to this side, you have a light there. So if you do need some light at night, you can turn that on for some extra visibility. If we walk around to the side here, let's take a quick look down below. Uh, one of the things I do like to talk about is the frame. As you'll see on the Passport, the frame is huck bolt frame. Uh, there's a couple advantages to huck bolts over welded. One is that the number one place your frame tends to rust out at is right at that weld seam. So by eliminating that weld seam, you reduce the chance for rust to start in that location. Also, if you ever do get into an accident, any kind of damage, your huck bolt frame is a lot easier to replace, meaning it will be less expensive for you in the end. If we take a look right above that here, you'll see the pass-through. Notice how it does have a covered hinge, so you don't have a bunch of rust and stuff coming down the door in a couple years. You also have magnets, that way it just sticks up. You don't have to worry about it. The thing I like about that, especially on a bunkhouse, is you know, the smaller kids, you know, well, not necessarily smaller, but you know, if they have seven, eight year olds where they come through, they just start smashing doors down when they're done. If you have that plastic clip on there, chances are you can break that clip, or I've even seen it actually pull out of the wall and damage the fiberglass. So by going to magnets, that really is nice and easy, less chance for uh, the kids to do anything harmful, or even yourself for that matter. If we take a look at the pass-through here, you'll notice over to the side you do have an LED light, but it's a nice big open pass-through. There's not a bunch of garbage hanging out in here. Uh, you know, you can see the aluminum framing that the Passport uses, and you have a large door on both sides. That way, if you do have bigger items like your zero-gravity chairs, grills, things like that, 
you can fit those in from either side of the RV. Power awning on there, just touch a button to have that roll out. Same thing to go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there. And underneath is an LED light strip, so you don't have to get up there and hang up any kind of Christmas lights yourself. Two steps to get into the RV, both of those do fold out. Uh, another thing I like to talk about too, we, we couldn't really see it when we were underneath, uh, but this one does uh, have the extended season camping package on there. Well, it's actually a standard on passports. And essentially what that is, is underneath it's a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So that way you're not getting a bunch of road grime and stuff getting thrown into the underbelly. And also if it does drop below, you know, your freezing temperatures, as long as you have your furnace running, it will blow that heat down below to make sure your tanks and lines don't freeze up on you. Right over here, this is your black tank flush. This is another nice thing, nice feature you see in a lot of RVs these days. Um, you know, but not all the time on smaller ones. So I do like the fact they included it here. Basically what that does for you is instead of having to take a hose and sticking it down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you can just screw it right in here. The black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. If we take a look at the wheel, you will see that uh, you have aluminum alloy wheels there. Not only do those look great, but also they won't rust on you and less chance for any corrosion. Right up top, here's your electrical outlet. That way, if you need to plug anything in outside, that's a good spot to do it. Whether that be, you know, your cell phone, crock pot, or whatever else you need to plug in, that is where you would do it at. Underneath the awning, you see this one does have two outside speakers. As I had previously mentioned, we were inside. Uh, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but again, it is Bluetooth capable. That way you can sit out here underneath your awning and use your smartphone or tablet to be able to control the music. Mounted right on the back, here's your spare tire. Makes it really easy to get to. Uh, hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here. Your sewer hose will store right in this container. You simply turn that door off and that will give you access to that compartment. Cable inlet right up top here. And over to the side, this is the door I was talking about when we were inside. So again, you know, this is nothing that's super unique to Passport, but I do like it on this floor plan. And basically what it is, is this right here. This bottom bunk lifts up. This one is strut supported, which is really nice because you know, oftentimes they're not but that gets the bunk up and out of the way. That gives you all of this down here for extra storage. So you know, you be able to fit some kids' bikes in there or you know, just larger items that you don't have room for in the pass-through. This is an excellent spot to put them. Also, you know, if you uh, only are taking one child, maybe you had this for a couple years and one of them's a teenager, they can drive, they no longer, you know, it's no longer cool to go camping with mom and dad. You can still use the top bunk and again, just leave this one up if you want for the extra storage space. Uh, you know, again, I just, I like the versatility that that offers. Right over here is your 30 amp power cord. Just pull that guy out and plug it in for shore power. And then right up here is your six gallon Atwood water heater. This one does run off both gas and electric and you can turn both of those on at the same time for higher recovery. Right over here is your uh, water inlets. You have your gravity fill as well as your city water. And directly below that is your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Keystone Passport 175BH. This one has the granite interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.